Hello. I'd like to talk about the project that we're going to do here. And basically, the project that we're going to do is my specialty, which is toys, and in this case, a toy vehicle. And I want to talk a little bit about my thought process and how I go through something like this. In this case, this product will be based on, you know, a younger child's toy, kind of a character, has a little bit of stylization to it and things like that. And we always start, at least I always start with pencil sketches to go through, get my thought process organized and figure out pretty much what I'm going to do once I get into the 3D environment. And in this case, you'll notice that the drawing is set up in a four view. This is called a control art or a four view. And basically, it's just a rough idea to communicate to myself basically what I'm going to try and build. I try to nail down basic proportions. I try to go through and pretty much line everything up, although sketches often lie. And when we get into 3D, that's when the real decisions will be made. So this is what we're going to build. I want to talk a little bit about Rhino and how we're going to set this up. In this case, we're going to build in inches. A lot of people build in millimeters, but I tend to build in inches. And we're going to set that by going to the options. And we're going to look at units, which is right here on the left under document properties. We're going to make sure that we're set to inches. And in this case, I'm actually going to back the tolerance down just a little bit because this will make all the calculations and the surface joining and everything that we're going to get into later happen a little quicker. And we'll talk about tolerance a little more as we go forward, but I want to just very quickly do an intro to Rhino and talk a little bit about how we're going to get set up here. And we'll do that in the next video.